Welcome. Did you know that this meeting house is one of the oldest buildings in Portsmouth and one of the oldest houses of worship in Rhode Island? I am Elizabeth Trout and I was pastor here from 1918 to 1948. The Society of Friends would meet here in Portsmouth to pray since 1658 and in this very building since 1700. Friends believe that something of God lived within all of us, an inner light to guide you towards right thinking. The church leaders in Boston believed that God only spoke through them, and consequently, they would banish, imprison, or even hang those who thought otherwise, including a woman, Mary Dyer, a missionary, who left the safety of her wicked island home to bring comfort to those friends that were in prison, died by the noose. Here, we found religious freedom, peace, and even prosperity. Half of all the residents of the colony of Rhode Island considered themselves to be members of the Society of Friends. Many of them served as governors. Many others held high government offices. However, after the War for Independence, it was decided that Friends should not hold public office. Because of our beliefs, we didn't actively serve in the military during those times. However, we did participate in non-violent efforts. In 1776, when the British soldiers occupied this island, this very building was commandeered to be barracks for the English and Hessian soldiers, as well as storage for their ammunition. Now, friends believe that every child had unique and special gifts and that education was very important. I myself am trained as a teacher. Along with my sister Ada, I opened a primary school which served generations of children. In 1784, this very building was also known as a school, with students from away staying with local church families. In 1788, the school closed. However, the funds were used to open what is now known today as the Moses Brown School in Providence, which continues to this day. Oh, this building has changed over the years, enlarged when numbers flourished, and still welcoming when numbers dwindled. Farmers, coal miners, former slaves, generations of families with close ties to the Society of Friends cross this threshold. We strive to live with integrity and equality, community, simplicity, good stewardship of the earth, and peace. All are welcomed here. Please come again. Thank you.